We begin tonight with a look at the protests that forced the assembly, the state assembly, to adjourn early yesterday. It's taking place on the other side of the world, but the Israel-Hamas war is deeply felt here in California, including in our state capital. Just as lawmakers return to Sacramento this week to begin the new legislative session, demonstrators called for a ceasefire disrupting the assembly. Capitol correspondent Aton Wallace joins us now with what happened and has reaction from members on both sides of the aisle. It was back to business Thursday in the California State Assembly Chamber. I request unanimous consent. But just 24 hours earlier, about 50 protesters up in the Assembly Gallery and even more in the Capitol Rotunda took part in demonstrations for several hours as they called for a permanent ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war. We're asking our politicians to take the lead and stand on the side of justice. We cannot do business as usual. It came on the same day most Republican Assembly members planned to introduce a resolution condemning Hamas. However, due to the demonstration, Assembly leaders said they had no choice but to adjourn while the protesters remained inside the gallery. Lawmakers from both sides of the aisle weighing in. Everybody has the right to protest, make their, their voice heard, but not to disrupt government functions that need to go forward. More than anything, it made me sad uh, that you have people who are shutting down the entire democratic process. San Francisco Senator Scott Wiener is the co-chair of the California Legislative Jewish Caucus. All 18 members of the caucus signed this letter sent to their legislative colleagues expressing concerns over the sharp rise of anti-Semitism in California since Hamas's October 7th terror attacks in Israel. The purpose of the letter was to just let our colleagues know what the Jewish community's experience has been in California since October 7th and particularly the fear that has beset our community with all the threats and the violence and the, the continued rise of anti-Semitism and the importance of the legislature acting uh, to stop that. Specifically, the letter calls on the legislature to support a package of bills, including one to create a select committee on anti-Semitism. It also asks lawmakers to address what members of the Jewish caucus describe as a toxic anti-Jewish environment in California schools, including some UC and CSU campuses, and it wants legislators to expand the non Nonprofit Security Grant Program, which helps provide funding for nonprofit organizations, including many Jewish institutions. The first Muslim to serve in the assembly, Bill Asaley, says he wants to work across the aisle to ensure every Californian feels safe. I don't think we should politicize terrorism and peace. I think there is room to both condemn, obviously, Hamas and provide protection for innocent citizens, while at the same time making sure that we are working on a path towards permanent peace that will benefit everybody. And the Legislative Jewish Caucus plans to introduce its package of bills in the coming weeks. Reporting inside the California State Capitol, Aton Wallace, 17 News.